Hey friend, this is a tutorial on Unity for teaching you how to create a dynamic text box. Here in my game, I have created a dynamic text box for the skill descriptions to show up when clicking any of the skill button within the character action panel. The text box will base on how big the text is to resize itself to fit the contents. I then have a script to let the text box know where to locate itself after changing the size, which I will show later. Okay, now let's begin from scratch. First, create an image object. I am creating this object right next to the character portrait box on bottom right side of the screen. So I am changing the anger for the right transform to bottom left. Then adjust the width to fit the entire space next to the portrait and fix the X position. In my case, I am just using the default UI sprite for the image and changing the color a little bit. But you can choose your own background for this box. Next, we need to add a vertical layout group to the background object. Delete both width and height for child force expand and use both width and height for control child size. Once that is done, we also add the content size fitter and change the vertical fit to prefer size. For now, this part is done. After creating the background, we need to add the text. I'm using the Text Mesh Pro, which I think either normal text and Text Mesh Pro will both work. From here, the height of the background box is already going to change based on the contents inside. Make sure to change the Y value on Pivot for the background box. Otherwise, the position is going to look weird. Now, even though the box will automatically change its size, its position still doesn't change after the box with size. We need to have a script to do this specific part, so the position will be correct every time it resizes. In my script, I have created a manager to manage the methods. With the text box, we need to add a rect transform variable and text mesh pro UGUI variable for our script to handle. Then we need to assign the object to the manager on the UI. Then, within the refresh skill description method, it changes the text to the appropriate skill description for the skill selected. At the end of the method, I put in a start coroutine to invoke the refresh skill description box I enumerator. What it does is to wait for 0 0.1 second for the UI to refresh for the text box to resize itself. Then we take the current height of the text box to determine what should be the new Y location for text box to be at. In my case, I am adding 5 to the current Y position of the text box. With all this UI and script setup, here is the result. In my game, when I click on any of the skills in the character action panel, the text box will put the current skill description, then resize and reposition itself. That's it for this tutorial. I hope this little tutorial will help you with your own game dev journey. If you find anything not working, or what I could have done better, please let me know from the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, hit the subscribe button below to get notified of our videos. And don't forget to like this video.